Hi folks, Eric from Zwift Insider here, wanting to just talk for a minute about the new feature that Zwift is rolling out to Windows users. It's called Video Screenshots. This feature's already been rolled out on Apple TV and iOS uh, so and, and Macs as well, uh, and, but Zwift has been holding off on rolling it out for PC and Android because, well, there's... There's hoops you have to jump through in order to record videos on, on any system, and it's very system specific. So just real quick, the way this feature works, just as a reminder, is you can manually click this button here, and it will record the last 15 seconds of gameplay. So if something really interesting just happened to you, you can pull that up and click it, and it'll record the last 15 seconds as a video, which you can then upload to Strava or anywhere you'd like. Um, those videos are also automatically saved for highlights on your ride. So when you set a PR uh, on a segment, it'll automatically be saved. When you finish a race, that last 15 seconds up to the finish line will automatically be saved. I found I don't really save things manually anymore. I don't save videos manually, but the highlights that automatically get saved seem to cover it just fine. Anyway, that's how they work. Uh, I also wanted to show you something which I find interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue for Windows users or not, but I think it's worth calling out. Uh, and that is the, the processor usage for this feature. So I'm going to pull up real quick the Windows Task Manager. So keep in mind that I've got video screenshots enabled right now. This is my CPU. You can see what CPU I'm running up here on the top right, Intel Core i7-9700F at three gigahertz. Uh, decent CPU, and it's running it close to 100% right now. Uh, but then if I go in there, I'm not sure what all it's doing. It seems 100% seems a little crazy. I think we've got some idle processes going. Uh, so what, what might make sense, I'm scrolling through this list to see. Uh, let's see, we could sort it. Sort the list by CPU usage. Yeah. Anyway, Zwift is using most of it, and you can see it's the Zwift game here. It's using you know 45%, 40%, right around there. That's the CPU usage from Zwift. Now, if I go into the menu and I turn off video screenshots, watch what happens immediately to that usage. Right now, we're at you know 40 mid 40s to low 40s. You can see on the screen. Now it drops down to about 30, you know, high 20s, somewhere in there. And you can see the graph drops as well. Drops about 20%. And I've seen that consistently on this computer so clearly the video screenshots feature is using about 20 percent of my cpu when it's enabled i don't think that's an issue for me on this system i don't think it's going to impact frames per second or anything like that uh, but if you were on a a system that's a little bit maxed out in terms of cpu you might run into issues with with frame rates or other things. Again, I'll turn I'll turn screenshots back on and you can see the CPU usage spike back up. See it pops right back up another 20%. Anyway, something to keep an eye on. The nice thing is you can disable it really easily in your settings. I'll show you where to do that. Just under settings here, you scroll down to video screenshots. And you've got enabled or disabled. So easily disabled. I believe it's going to be enabled by default, which might turn into an issue for people. And Swift might need to uh, notify people of that, but we'll see how it all shakes out. Anyway, hope that's helpful, and I'll see you out there, folks. Right on.